Melthy Accessories Unboxing. Welcome to our Melthy Accessories video here at RecipeThis.com. My name is Samantha and for the last two and a half years I have owned two electric pressure cookers. After having and using my Melthy Multipot for a month and a bit, I have had some amazing Melthy accessories delivered to my home and wanted to share these accessories with you as part of my Melthy Accessories Unboxing video. So let's start. So, what we already have with your Melty when you've already purchased it is a couple of silicone mitts which make it perfect for grabbing your food in and out of your Melty. As you can see, they're like that for easy grab. George, of course, thinks that it's personal puppets, so I doubt I will own them much longer because they'll have disappeared into one of his toy boxes. And, of course, you get uh, an extra sealing ring. I find this is very important and I did mention this in the Melty uh, Accessories unboxing because you never know when it's going to run out or when you're going to lose it or when something is going to happen. Uh, for example, think about your house keys. We always have a second set just to be on the safe side, don't we? So that's why I would recommend some of those. Now, what I did beyond this was I received some extra Melty Accessories. These were things that are not included when you actually purchase the Melty, but I feel are very important for us for our day-to-day -day use of the Melty. And I wanted to show you them today. So first of all, let's lift the lid off the Melty so that we can imagine everything when it's in there. So first of all, two extra silicone uh, rings for sealing with your uh, Melty. Um, I've become obsessed with having some extra ones of these. That is because we ended up getting caught short while on holiday camping and I had to actually have some shipped to a campsite that we were staying at because ours went when we had our old Instant Pot. So always make sure you've got some extra ones because you never know when they're going to run out. And some people have said that they can last three months, some people say a year, some two years. I think it depends on what you actually cook in your melty or generally in electric pressure cookers. So, let's have a look at these extra ones, shall we? Rip them open. Ooh, very nice. A blue and a red one. So these will be absolutely perfect for using and I'm going to put them in storage in my office and then when they run out, I'm covered. Right. Next on the agenda is something in the past I've told people not to bother with. <laughs> I'm going back on what I said um, because I've never really thought there's really a need for it. And that is an extra inner pot. The reason I've always said you don't need it is, I mean, what do you need one for? You've got everything. But right now, as I'm recording this, I have a, a delicious vegetable gratin uh, sat in the fridge in my inner pot. Now, if I wanted to do breakfast before serving it for lunch, I've got nowhere to cook. So I decided that it was about time I got an extra one. And the different electric pressure cookers will get cross with me for saying this. But I'm going to say it anyway, and that is that they're all built the same shape, so you'll find that these inner pots uh, will fit different brands of electric pressure cookers. They will all tell you only use our version in our equipment because you know obviously they want you to buy their products. Um, but it, it's like a lot of products. Um, take my slow cooker for example. I've got um, a spare inner pot for that um, in case my current one breaks and it's a different brand of slow cooker compared to the original one I had purchased. So it's common sense really, you could easily put this in another one if you needed to. And as you can see it fits perfectly in and then when you're cooking one or two things at once you can use the spare one can't you and another accessory that I wanted which I really really like is this basically it's just a covering for your inner pot the idea here is if you go and cook something and you want to cover it up it's like a silicone uh, lid to keep it nice 
have a look, see how it fits. So as you can see, it fits nicely on. Do this right, I think. Never used one of these before, but oh wow, that fits on perfectly. Look at that. So you can just literally lift it upside down and nothing will fall out. Uh, another idea I have here is that we suggest having some sort of covering to help with condensation when you're cooking yogurt. And this could be your idea for something to go on top. Or if you have something with an odor, like something that's really strong smelling, like some uh, lemon chicken, you could cover it. Or let's just say you're taking it camping and you don't want the flies touching your food. Well, it's perfect for anything like this. And as you can see, it comes off really, really easily. And then that leaves our last accessory that we decided to get, and that was uh, a glass lid. Um, you could use it in the same way like you do with the silicone. You could use it whenever you have um, a situation where you need a lid on. I've seen people using these for the slow cooker element. And personally, it's very rare I use a slow cooker on any of my electric pressure cookers. I just don't see the point. You know, the, the pressure cooker is there to cook things fast. And you don't want to be cooking something and it take forever, you know, because otherwise why not just get your slow cooker out? But again, if you want to cook something and you're not cooking it under pressure and you just want to look at food, maybe your yogurt again, then it's perfect for that. Or again, for keeping food uh, nice in the fridge. I don't consider it essential when you first start out with electric pressure cooking, but I'm sure it's something that in the future you would want to look into getting. So there you have it. Those are the main uh, accessories that I suggest for your Melty Multi Pot. And as well as this, um, I've also written a blog post across it, recipethis.com, which showcases all the different Melty accessories that you can get and some non-branded melty ones as well that I also recommend. So if you go to recipethis.com and search melty, you'll find lots of information over there. So thanks for watching and ciao for now. For more recipes, reviews, ebooks and tutorials, please visit our food blog at recipethis.com. You can also find us on Pinterest at pinterest.com forward slash recipethis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be in the loop whenever we bring out new and exciting videos. And also, any links or products that we've used in any of these videos are mentioned. You'll be able to find all live links in the description of our videos.